And they're going up against that Cowboys offense that will have a lot to deal with. With that, let's get you out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. All right, folks. Larry, the Cavaliers may have lifted the local championship drought, but there's another team who'd like a little of that success. And that's the Browns as we come to you from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup set to go here between the Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. All right, folks. Looks like we got a Tony Romo driving him down here. Third and ten. Tony Romo just completely taking it to us here. This defense is just awful. But yeah, Wolfman Lewis, welcome back to Chile. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are in the episode of the Browns owner mode on Madden 17. Remember, we play offense only. If you uh, missed any of the other, other episodes, you're available on the channel in the playlist. Yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Chiefs all-time leading rusher, Jamal Charles on the carry. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Here's a play fake as he set up the throw. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. The first down carry here for Charles. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Under, 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 under. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Steps away to his left. <laughs> and taking it across midfield and inside the four. Ryan Fitzpatrick that running that one. 13 yards and it moves his sticks. Well, that was man coverage, so once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice game. Back to throw now on first down. Buying time to his left. And now he'll let this one go down. Oh, incomplete. He was looking to get it to Jarvis Landry that time. That'll bring him second down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. The first carry now, this is Johnson, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. Expecting pass. They'll look to throw. Flushed, and he can't find anywhere to go. Dang it. And he goes down. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. Oh, come on. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaking up on the play. While the training staff takes a peek. set to take the field here as they have the football. All right, folks. Of this first quarter. And the Browns offense back out there. Michael Vick. They go play action here on first down. They'll roll him out right. Oh, what was you doing, Vic? He was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. Last year for Orlando Scandrick, the torn ACL, the torn MCL, but 2016. Dislocated ankle will not be able to return to this game. Dang it. The rehab, the dedication, got his quickness and agility back, and lost none of his playmaking skills. Second down, Jamal Charles. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. And on third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. So just a lone... F back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Single, single. Let's go. 
Back to pass now. Vic goes down again. We almost had it. We had it. Oh, they got a field goal. As this offense gets set to take over. And here are the Browns now as the offense comes back out onto the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, so they held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach said, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. Think that factored in. And Michael Vick is going to go down here. I'm going to be aggressive on offense. Oh, for the love of good gravy. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So now we got RG3. And look who's going to get a shot here in relief. It's Robert Griffin the third. The first throw for the backup Griffin. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pick up for a first down. Here's Charles. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And now the first chance for the backup here to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. He'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Slow, slow, slow. Jack, ready. Third and long. It's Griffin. Oh, no. Intercepted. The point read, it's picked off. And he returns it into enemy territory. This offense gets set to take over. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this one. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping that that last mistake... Michael Vick, shoulder tear, will not be able to return to this game. Good gravy, folks. And maximizing opportunities. So we got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. He's going to get the football. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, Parker. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And still for me, with the injuries, every time he carries that football, you just kind of hold your breath, don't you? You have to, because you noted it. The injuries in the past have derailed his career up until this point. Now we're seeing some more evidence of him using his legs again. But he does have to be careful. They need him out on the field. Yeah, RG3, you got to have him out there. So explosive. Well, they've been practicing goal line offense all week. Let's see if they're able to capitalize here. They want it. It's Charles. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. And the offense moving quickly to the line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. On third and goal, here's Griffin. And that is in. 
incomplete. The tight end Gary Barnage, the intended receiver. We're going to go for the field goal, folks. Down. Travis Coons on now for the Browns' field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Coons connects on this one. It's good. And they are on the board. It's now. All right, so we're on the board, folks. 9 3. Here we go. They're trying to run down the field here. Fourth thing that they will punt it to us and or kick it to us rather than the first half. They'll have the football to start the third quarter. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his left. Oh no. This is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. Please let that be an in. Oh, come on. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And last okay. time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play call. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception. A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confident. Oh, come on. He's taken down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, Griffin. No! He's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read and it's picked off. And he's going to take this one back to the... This offense gets set to take over. And now the Browns offense trots back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start? Oh my gosh. Just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you got to get it to Barney. She's our man. Okay, maybe not RG3. Give him nine on the play, and that'll make it third and one. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on first down, and they're going to go for it. Here we go with Charles. No way. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas. Regardless of what we do, folks, we cannot get anything going here, man. This this team's still struggling. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. A very solid gain of 27. RG3 outside of the pocket. You know that's where he can be really dangerous with the feet or here the arm. And that scares defenses in a big way because his ability to break ranks and still make big throws, or as you suggested. Now look out, Griffin hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. Dang it, Griffin. So they almost turn it over there. Scary moment. Second down here. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, here's Griffin. Buying time to his left. And he'll be hit as he Holding it, offense. And that'll fall incomplete. Holding offense. Of course. Back us up 20 yards. So a little John Gecko. This time Still it goes against down. the offense for holding. It's a loss of 10 <sighs> Good gravy. Play. And that'll bring up second down. Ready. Three, nine, nine. On second down, Griffin. 
He'll buy some time right. No! Oh, what a god! That would have been a great catch, folks. That would have been a great catch. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering where it's going to go. Gary Barnage, my man. A big 30 yard play on third. Well, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no. Dang it. Getting to RG3. He's brought down. For the sack. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. So third and 20, defense in the nickel. Surprised they didn't go with six DBs. Oh, uh, come on. They hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Sixty-five yard field goal. I don't think I can make that. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. Sixty-four was Matt Prater's record. This would top that by a yard. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. It Touchdown. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score seven, seven nothing. nothing. Thank you so much. Offense now as they get set to take over here. And the last bear around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say Dang it, Barnage. Yourself in field position, the ball comes out, you know, there, and that only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe there's a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it, and even if he missed, confident in their defense that they can hold him. Ah, oh, yeah, it's over. Yep, it's over, folks. Dallas is no slouch coming in at 6 and 0. They get ready to head back onto the field. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. You expecting RG3 to complete five passes? Come on. Now Griffin on second down. Ah, uh, come on. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Again, we'll see the pistol here. To throw is RG3. And he finds Barnage. He's got it. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing now. Griffin on first down. His throw caught at about the five. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. From the two-yard line now, it's first and goal. Oh, man, they gather, They freaking got him hard. On this one, losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. And here now it's second and goal, ball on the seven-yard line. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of four. Now third down. And quickly, they get to the line. From the gun on third down. No, come on. I hate RG3, dude. 
Yep, it's over, folks. This this game is over. This game is over, man. All right, folks, so for the Browns, okay, this was an absolutely ugly, ugly game, folks. Ugly game. So now we got to see how long our quarterbacks are out for uh, Vic and uh, see how long Vic is out and how long uh, Fitzpatrick is out. Fans in next week against the Ravens. This is week nine, folks, and the Browns are really in trouble here. That is all healed up from injury and available to play. Okay, we have a who is available to play. My team. Let's go to injury report. Okay, so that dislocated ankle. Fitzpatrick is able to play, but Michael Vick, with that dislocated uh, or shoulder tear, is out for four weeks. I guess that's a bit, I just, I don't like our chances, folks. Week 10, going into week 10 at 1 and 8? Come on. I mean, we, there's no way we're going to meet the playoffs. We got contract negotiations. We will check out the contract negotiations. Ryan Fitzpatrick is returning from injury. So he's there. Well, folks, I tell you, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. If you're watching this series, I appreciate you. But this is a struggle, folks, a struggle that this team, we need to figure out exactly. We need to get this team under uh, great uh, leadership. We need Brian Fitzpatrick to be a leader. We need uh, the offensive line to help protect Fitzpatrick. We need the offensive line to, or, the, or excuse me, the defensive secondary to uh, work uh, to stop these deep passes that they get. You know, and yeah, yeah, when we watch the uh, the AI play out with our defense, we need to figure out exactly what we can do here. I appreciate you watching, folks. If you're new, scratch the claw marks at the bottom right hand corner. You can come to the Wolfpack family today. Step in by the bell icon, become part of the, of the notification squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. Remember, always stay hungry, hungry like the wolf. Wolfman Lewis. Ow, I am out.